Hello everyone, you're watching the guest on Gabon 24. The problem of opening borders in the Central Africa region has been being dealt with for years now. It, that is to say, an op I mean, an open border is a border that enables free movement of people and often of goods between jurisdictions with few or no restrictions on movement that is lacking subject su substantive border control. With the implementation of uh, the African Free Trade Area in French, Zelekaf, Gabon, and Semak region, countries will have to abide by so as to improve their economic and commercial situation in a post COVID 19 pandemic context. But how profitable opening borders can be? Today's topic is the opening of the borders in the economic and monetary community of Central Africa, the Semak zone, reality or utopia for the populations in the context of the African free trade area, challenges, and post-COVID-19 pandemic. Our guest is Mr. Warren Gemma, Gemma expert and uh, scholarly article writer and teacher of English. Sir, welcome to Gabon 24. Thank you, Mr. Journalist. Thank you, sir. How are we doing? I'm doing well. Please, can you introduce yourself deeply to the viewers? Uh, before introducing myself to the viewers, I would like to thank Gabon 24 for the opportunity you have given to me to address the issue of the opening of the borders uh, in CMAC zone, uh, reality or utopia in the context of the African continental free trade area. All right. uh, my name is Mr. Warren Gemangema. I'm a teacher of English, okay. graduated from ENS. I have a master's degree in the realm of teaching. And before I become a teacher of English, I used to work as a, a part-time interpreter at, uh, Gabon, uh, at uh, Olam Gabon uh, in 2012 in Bitam. And in 2017, uh, I had another opportunity to work as a, a part-time interpreter at Gabon Special Economic Zone. Okay. Okay. Pretty interesting. Okay. So one more time, nice to meet you and welcome to Gabon 24. Thank you. Well, to go in deeper into the, let's say, the topic, all yes. right? Uh, sir, according to you, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, do you think uh, uh, the, the opening of borders in Semak Zone, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, is it a reality or utopia in the context of, uh, let's say, a sub-regional uh, uh, um, integration? Okay, uh, to the best of my knowledge, the opening of the borders uh, is a reality because um, undoubtedly, uh, the, the opening of the border has been effective today in CMAC zone, the six CMAC countries, respectively Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, Chad, Congo, Cameroon, and the Central African Republic, okay. have uh, succeeded in strengthening their uh, political, economic, monetary, and even cultural integration. Okay. Uh, in spite of um, the social, political, uh, anthropological, uh, and sociological realities, uh, including the COVID-19 pandemic, which have uh, strongly compromised its uh, implementation. Okay. That's, that explains the utopic dimension of uh, the opening of the borders. Very interesting. So uh, mm -hmm. sometimes there is a kind of, uh, I mean, people, uh, mm -hmm. when we talk about sub-regional integration, yes. uh, I mean, above all in our I mean, region, yes. uh, people kind of um, confuse, I mean, yeah. between um, CEMAC mm -hmm. and ICAS, I mean, which is the uh, I mean, economic community of yeah. Central African state. Is there a difference between the two, I mean, organizations? Obviously, uh, most of the time people make confusions. Uh, you have to understand that um, CIMA is a sub-regional uh, organization which counts six main countries. I have uh, just uh, mentioned before, mm -hmm. Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, Chad, Congo, Cameroon, the Central African Republic. Okay. Uh, I think this is uh, the different countries we can find uh, in CIMA. Okay. Whereas ICAS is larger, uh, it counts uh, at least uh, 10 countries, okay. and it is a regional uh, organization, okay, which is different from uh, CMAC. Okay, and I think uh, even uh, the CMAC was founded in uh, 1999, but before the implementation of uh, this sub-regional integration uh, um, organization, uh, the head of state uh, signed a chart, okay. uh, uh, which um, I think creating the the CMAC in 1994. Whereas ICAS was created uh, in 1983, you can okay. see that there is a difference. Yeah, sure. Okay. 
but both of them have common goals. Okay, pretty okay. interesting. We, okay. we, we suppose that both of them, I mean, mm -hmm. the, the common goal certainly mm -hmm. is maybe related to, mm -hmm. uh, let's say, uh, uh, exchange between, I mean, those uh, uh, countries. But if you allow me, um, definitely, uh, what's the aim of opening borders between uh, mm -hmm. in a, in a, in a sub-region, for instance? What's the aim, definitely? Okay, um, the main aim of the opening of the borders is to promote the free mobility of people and goods all over the sub-region. Okay. Okay. And uh, most of the time, uh, people are confused uh, about the opening of the borders and uh, the, the, I think the free mobility of people and goods. Uh, the main purpose, as I said, is to enable good services and uh, people to travel, to move from one community to another okay. uh, by eliminating uh, tariff uh, barriers. barriers sure. Yes, mm -hmm. this is uh, what I can say. Okay, okay. So, uh, um, well, uh, so definitely, Gabon being involved in those regions, definitely. What do you think can be the, let's say, mm -hmm. how competitive you think Gabon can be, uh, uh, let's say, uh, in those uh, organizations? Mm -hmm. Okay, Gabon plays a and key If you allow me, in, in terms of entrepreneurs' uh, mm -hmm. profitability. Yes, okay, I understand. Gabon, um, by the past, uh, Gabon's economy, uh, I think, was not dynamic. Okay. By the past, uh, I think, uh, if uh, three years or three, uh, 30 years ago. But today, we can say that Gabon's economy uh, is the most competitive in the sub-region and even regional, uh, I think, uh, levels, because um, you can see that a report of the the World Forum uh, report has revealed that Gabon uh, has taken the first place in I think maybe uh, this year. Yes, it has taken the first place in terms of economic uh, performances. Okay. Yes, okay. and uh, in the regional scale, Gabon has taken uh, I think the second place, and in the continental level, Gabon uh, actually has occupied the uh, 19th position. It's me that Gabon play a key role in this uh, sub-regional organization. But uh, in terms of uh, competitiveness, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, Gabonese entrepreneurs, um, I think, have a key role to play. But the key problem is that most of them uh, are not, uh, I think, produced uh, for, I think, in terms of export. Okay, but uh, locally, Gabonese entrepreneurs, uh, I think, um, play a key role in the economic, uh, I think the economic uh, prosper, I think uh, prosperity, and in terms of uh, transfer of technologies, uh, I believe that government entrepreneurs have uh, a lot of things to learn, to acquire some skills, and um, so that they become more competitive, uh, I think that they should uh, invest essentially in the realm of uh, oil, mining, and even forestry sectors. So definitely, if you understand very well, I think it's, uh, it's, 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 I mean, it's wrong thinking that, uh, I mean, uh, Gabonese people should not accept being involved in that, uh, let's say, in free uh, uh, movement of whether people are, 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 are goods. Because yes. sometimes people say, you know, uh, if, if people, if we open borders, yes. you know, we will be invaded, and then, yes. you know, it's going to be difficult for, for Gabonese to cope with that. So it's exactly. wrong to think about that. Yeah, you're right. But I uh, think we have to overcome this, uh, I think, reality mindset. of the mindset. Sure. Because um, we, uh, there is no risk without the development. Okay. There is no risk without development. We have to, if you want to develop sure. our sub region, we have to take the risk to open the borders. Very interesting. Right. If you want to develop, mm. we have to take the risk yeah. of opening borders. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the guest on Gabon 24, and we have having Mr. Warren, yes. Gabon, 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 yeah. okay, whom we're talking with uh, about, uh, let's say, mm. uh, borders happening in Gabon, right? Or yeah. in the sub region. Yeah. Well, uh, talking about your career yourself, yeah. let me quote mm. You won the Carton Rouge International Competition in yeah. 2014 in Yaoundé, Cameroon, yes. representing the Gabonese Republic. Public. Yes. What is the competition about, and who are the organizers, or who are the organizers mm. of that? Okay, I think um, uh, I think Cartouche, um International is uh, a subregional competition, okay, which gather uh, the, I think some countries of the of the CMAC zone, mm -hmm. but uh, it is about uh, competing. I think the different countries of the community okay. select the best students of a country, and these these students uh, go. Uh, to take part in that competition to challenge on specific sections okay. such as general knowledge, 
such as um, dance, uh, I think competition, and so on and so forth. But at a time in 2014, uh, I want that competition, especially um, uh, the section related to general knowledge. And we were, uh, we reached the final, uh, I think we competed against, uh, with I think, uh, Cameroonian students. Okay, uh, and uh, finally, we uh, won that competition. And, and you were the representative of the country. Yes, I represent the country. I represented the country uh, at that time. Pretty good. Yeah. One more time, congratulations for your. Thank dynamism. you very much. Still mm -hmm. talking about your career, you yeah. are a scholarly article writer. Yeah. So the question is, what does the job consist of, and how? Mm -hmm. uh, let's say, can a person become one? We only have a few minutes remaining. I apologize for. Okay. Know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I think uh, a scholarly article writer is naturally a writer, an okay. author. Uh, we, uh, as far as my experience is concerned, um, I decided to write uh, school articles because I realized that in, uh, in Gabonese secondary schools, uh, most of the time, uh, my colleagues, teachers, uh, continue, to, I think, teaching English using the same text, using the same, uh, I think, themes. Things are not moving forward. forward. Yes, forwards. Okay. And I think, from my, I think from my experience on the ground, I say the time has come to introduce a new approach, okay? And uh, I was inspired yeah. by uh, the realities of my country. And it is uh, important to integrate African specificities and Gabonese specificities in Thank our very much. educational system. That's pretty interesting. Thank yeah. you very much for your dynamism one more time. And I'm yeah. sorry, we've just yeah. come to the end of this television program. Yeah. You have a last word, please, in a few minutes. Okay, oh, thank seconds. you very much. Um, it has been a great pleasure for me okay. to be at Gabon 24. Uh, and uh, the message I'd like to convey to the viewers is that uh, they have to understand that the opening of the borders is not, um, I think, uh, a danger okay. Okay, for the bound uh, because uh, by the past people fear that immigration and overpopulation would result in long-term uh, economic, uh, long-term unemployment rate and uh, insecurity within member states. Okay. Thank you very much. So we've come to the end of this television program. Yeah. Uh, I just want to thank you for accepting our invitation. Yeah. I remind that you are Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, Warren Angemangema, exactly. who is a teacher of English and mm -hmm. a scholarly article writer. Exactly. Today's topic was the opening of borders mm -hmm. in the economic and monetary community of Central Africa, yeah. the SEMAC zone, of yeah. course, reality or utopia mm -hmm. for the population in the context of the African free trade area mm -hmm. challenges mm -hmm. exactly. or, or post COVID 19 pandemic. Yeah. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Keep watching Gabon 24 Live on our social networks now displaying on the bottom of your screen. Furthermore, watch out COVID-19 is not yet over. Keep practicing the barrier gestures for your health. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now.